What's up, y'all? This is the Big Face Trucker coming at you with a mechanical view with mechanics on my truck. I happen to be at my daughter's house right now, and I was on a test drive. I've been working on this thing all day on my freight liner, which they call it a freight shaker. All right, the freight shaker. So. What's been going on with the truck is that I had a bad vibration and this is a common thing with these freight liners. All right. And I'm going to make this real quick and I bet you it will help you out. Definitely. I was shaking my head. I thought that the tires need to be balanced in the back, which they didn't. I thought I needed to replace shocks, but I didn't. I took the shocks off. They're just basically almost like brand new. And I went and brought shocks, so I got a pit. I got a set of shocks for it on the on the wall. And uh, you know, I'm looking at these tires right here and everything, and I'm like, oh man, don't tell me I have to buy steel, uh, drives again. You know, I check my airbags, everything. But this is what I came up with. And here's it is. See that drive shaft right there? All right, that drive shaft is completely level right now. All right? And it's a real simple fix. All right? If you got some mechanic skills, you can fix it yourself. Or I think they sell the part for about $14 on Amazon. <laughs> I'm going to show you the part. And I'm going to tell you what I did. That's the part right there. The leveler. The bar. See the middle? I cut it. I put like a, maybe about, I put took a small bolt and put in there. Like, I would say three eighths. All right? Long. And I welded it. Not a, <laughs> not a good weld, but uh, that's what I did. Cut it. And what it did, it straightened out my drive shaft. So what I was getting was like a tire balance. Like my tires would need to be balanced in the back, like, you know, like in a car. And I'm telling you, like night and day, this drive shaft is straight right now before it was tilted. All right, night and day. I have no vibration in the truck. Now, I'm going to work on this freight liner because I think I could quiet this thing up and I have this thing riding nice, really nice. Because uh, when Snyder Finance put these trucks together, they really didn't tighten all the bolts inside. So you hear, the, you hear things rattling and stuff like that. But that's what I did. I mean, that's the fix right there. That leveler, that bar, cut it, three-eighths, put a piece of metal in there, three-eighths long, extend it. And straighten out your drive shaft. So when the trailer sits on this, it stays like that. Your tires is going to wear even because your tires are not hopping around. Of the trailer jumping up and down and everything. That that uh, air valve back there does not have an adjustment where you can move the arm and adjust it. You have to extend the bar. So they do sell... A bar where you can extend it on Amazon. You can look it up. Uh, it's under uh, air leveling rod or whatever. Year making model of the vehicle. And you'll get it straight. Right now, I have no vibration. I was going to go spend the money and have all of my drives balanced. Because of uh, that vibration. Very aggravating. All right. Now I don't have the wear and tear on my drive shaft. My drive shaft will last longer because eventually if you keep riding like that, that vibration was getting worse and worse and worse and I could not pinpoint it. But now I pinpoint it. It is in the level of the chassis, your, your, your trailer, everything, your lights in the front is gonna point to the ground instead of pointing in other driver's face and you're gonna be all right. This is the big face trucker, four minute, five minute um, video for y'all. Um, I hope this, uh, everybody take the, if you're having that problem, that's the fix. 
All right, it's not your tires. That's the fix. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.